In this video, I am showing how I built the box Lola is standing on. I found this thing at Apex Surplus in the San Fernando Valley. I'm pretty sure I only paid $20 for it. I love its 1950s, 1960s aesthetic. I knew I needed room inside to place a battery. So I started to take it apart. As it came apart, I thought I was going to remove the center shelf, but later decided to keep the shelf after all. I kept track of all the components, but I knew I did not need anything on the inside, so I just cut out all of the wiring. With the switches and dials removed, I can now sand off the writing on the front plate. The front and back plate were sanded to remove the writing, but not all the paint. What was left was an antique looking surface of aluminum and old paint. The main enclosure was sanded so the new paint would stick, drilled holes in the back plate for hinges, then cut a door into the back plate. After that was the job of reassembling it. putting all the switches, knobs, and LEDs back into their original position. Then reattaching the shelf to the front and back plates. The enclosure got primed and painted an orange color. When I built Lola, I used a small piece of wood as a base for the feet for the post to pass through. When I finished the droid, I cut down that piece of wood into a small template that I can use for the droid's feet positions. I placed it on the reassembled box and marked where the holes should be. With the droid fitted to the box, I set out to wire up one of the switches as the main power switch. The battery would be located in the lower section and the switch and connection to the droid would be in the upper section. In the last video, you may have noticed that I actually installed even more electronics and all of those bits and pieces, the sound system and the maestro, all went into the upper section of this box. Then simply slide the assembly back into the enclosure and reattach the bottom. The droid has a post on each foot. The posts slide into the case and the larger post is clamped so that the droid does not fall over. And there you have it. The droid is getting power from inside the little cabinet Thanks for watching. If you haven't, subscribe already.